Bill obliterates Joy Behar after she trashes Trump on The View. The View's host, Joy Behar, is always trying to portray President Donald Trump in a negative light. Dr. Phil attended uh, her show on Thursday and had a few words against her. We can safely say that Behar was silenced, hopefully once and for all. Behar pushed Dr. Phil to start and speak uh, against tr uh, Trump and portray him like something he isn't, a narcissist who shouldn't be a president. Fortunately, Dr. Phil truly knows how things are. Dr. Phil gave a lesson to Behar and her supporting audience by explaining what narcissism actually is. Hopefully, Behar had learned the lesson she needed. Dr. Phil had a list to describe what a narcissist actually is. Here is a transcript of their uh, conversation. Um, so why not just play the clip? After, uh, after they finished, Goldberg said that a lot of people have those characteristics. Dr. Phil responded, well, if you, that's a lot of people, and if you take out everybody that has any of those characteristics, then you're going to take out a lot of people, including some at this table. <laughs> Behar then asked him, yourself included? Dr. Phil answered, absolutely. Behar didn't stop there and explained that Obama didn't have those symptoms and went against Dr. Phil because he said that every president is a victim of some disorder. I didn't say they all have it. I said most leaders are under a lot of stress and pressure, so a lot of it will show anxiety, depression at different times. Lots of leaders will have some affliction at different times because the pressure and demands of the office, Dr. Phil uh, answered. Uh, let's take uh, Dr. Phil talks uh, cash me outside meme, uh, narcissism and more on The View. So, millions of Americans tune in to Dr. Phil every day and a lot of them could use his advice right now. Yeah. So we're going to talk to Dr. Phil McGraw. Welcome, man. Welcome back. What is she wearing? Good to see you. So if you're teaching abstinence at home, just putting condoms in high school bathrooms, send the wrong message. Well, the girls' bathroom. In, the, in any, any bathroom. bathroom. Any bathroom. Yeah. you got to tell the parents. If you're going to do it, tell the parents. Because the thing I've always said is, as parents, we're not going to be the only voice in our child's ear, so we need to be the best voice in our child's mm -hmm. ear. And if we don't know that this is an option for them at school, then we don't have the opportunity to sit down and say, hey, okay, let's talk about this. I, I wasn't born last night. I know what's going on. I know what your options are. That's there. It's not encouragement. It's protect. Let's talk about it. I want to know so when my child sees it the first day, I want to be able to talk to him about it. Yeah. It's their right to do it. I think such education is good, but involve the parents. Don't go around them. What the hell is that all about? Yeah, I wouldn't like to have known. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here's something that I'm interested in. Now. No follow-up. Did you want to do a follow-up? Uh, yeah. yeah. You do? Uh, so, um. Do y'all need, need a minute? No, that's right. <laughs> No, she's, she's got to ask you this question. Yeah, I'm not okay, because so they can't diagnose anybody, you know, uh, um, yeah, from goes, far. Somebody that they haven't examined. Doctors, uh, therapists, a lot of respected psychologists out there, really big time, big names, are saying that Donald Trump is showing signs of narcissism, which, by the way, one of the symptoms is uh, preoccupied with the fantasies of unlimited power, success, and brilliance. And they're questioning that he is has narcissistic disorder. Number one, do you think that's a mental illness, narcissism? And if so, is he fit to be president? <laughs> well, well, Counselor, that's a compound question, and I object. <laughs> uh, but, you know, people talk about narcissism, but they don't really know what it means. So I brought a list from right. the DSM-5 about what narcissism really is. Because if I asked people to stand up and define it, they wouldn't know. All right. And All right. let's just take a vote. It, it, one has a grandiose sense of self-importance. 
Occupied with fantasies of success, power, or brilliance, which you said. Check. Okay, three, believes that he or she is special or unique. Check. Can only be understood by special people. Uh, four, require, requires excessive admiration. Oh, check, 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 check. Uh, has a sense of entitlement, which means it's very thin skinned. Oh, check, 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 check. Uh, is interpersonally exploitive. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Lacks empathy, has the inability to stand in other people's shoes. And oh, well, you mean like when he makes fun of people who are, are handicapped? I'm just disabled. reading it. Uh -huh. You interpret it. Is right. often envious of others or believes that others are envious of him or her. Shows arrogant and haughty behavior. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Well, if you, that is a lot of people, and. If you take out everybody that has any of those characteristics, then you're going to take out a lot of people, including some at this table. But Yourself included? That's absolutely. Really? Which you, one are you? Well, I'll tell you what. The <laughs> readers... Which one are you? Um, let's see. I would have to check a few of these. you have all of them, though, to be a well, narcissist? You, first off, you have to have a number of these present for an extended period of time, and they have to be disruptive to your functioning. Duh. Okay, as we disrupt you to your functioning. <laughs> and so the question is, is this malignant to the point that it puts people's lives in jeopardy, yeah. puts our futures in jeopardy? Yeah. That's what you have to decide. I doubt that there's ever been anyone that has sat in the chair of the presidency that didn't have some type of imbalance mentally or emotionally at some point in their lives. Well, I mean, did, we yeah. all have our, you know, we all have our hearts broken. We all have things that we go through. You always look at that President Obama and say he has narcissistic disorder. So you can't just say they all have it. I didn't Some say they people all have it. all the things you said. Right. You just checked every one of them. I said most leaders. <laughs> I said most leaders are under a lot of stress and pressure. Yeah. So a lot of them will show anxiety, depression at different times. A lot of leaders will have some affliction at different times because of the pressure and demands of the office. She can talk about this all day, so why don't we come over here? Yeah. Uh, I have to ask about a moment on your show that's gone viral. The original clip has over 21 million views. I think you know what I'm talking about. The sassy 13-year-old girl that got a little annoyed with the audience, but let's take a look at this clip. Did you say the, the, the hoes are laughing? Yep. So the audience are a bunch of hoes. Yeah. Forget that. That cash me outside. Yeah, I uh, I saw that. But you know, listen, Joy Behar is, uh, and if there was ever a narcissist, wasn't uh, Obama narcissistic? So. Uh, yeah, I go along with what Doctor Phil is saying, even though I'm not a fan of his, but. Yeah, I can understand that, you know, different type. But Joy Behar just wants to attack Trump. That's basically the bottom line, where uh, actually she's very arrogant also. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.